What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into a voice video. Neek shocked after Lane responds. Or is this yesterday? Was this yesterday? I don't know. Let's get it. <laughs> Ray J. Carter was spotted in Atlanta with her new boo. I know there's rumors that they broke up, but they did get back together. Hey, are no, you I did a not Lil Wayne's this. daughter? Oh my God, I am such a huge fan of you and Lil Wayne knows me. I, yeah, yeah. He, I, <laughs> Yo, ain't no way. <laughs> I've been in his house on South Beach, North Beach, or whatever. I, hey, I wish you guys the best relationship ever. Oh, My name is Steven Joe. Okay, Mr. Kaka, have a beautiful day. Sexy Red don't got nothing on you. You the real Sexy Red. You don't even know who that is. That's Lil Wayne's daughter. Huh? No, never mind. Y'all have a good day. See right here. Lil Wayne right here. Ugh. That's Regine Carter. Yes, Regine Carter. God bless you. You have just met the chain snatcher. Carmen is unfazed and unbothered after allegedly Corey had her IG page deleted <coughs> recently because he thinks she deleted his IG page. If you thought it was over, come on, man, you know fucking better. Take my time to shine and I watch this. Lena did respond to Make people wondering why down. her and King post a four year anniversary video when King was with Neek four years ago. She said, King and I started talking December of 2020 right before the new year. Found out I was pregnant in April, 2021. He made me officially his girlfriend in June, 2021. It's three years officially being together, but we have already been living together before we made it official. It was already confirmed that I was not the girl he cheated on Neek with by her own mouth. Now that's interesting that Lena- Wait, he made official his girlfriend in June, 2021 three years officially being together but we had already been living together before we made it official so y'all niggas was roommates before y'all <laughs> Okay. says that because King back in 2020 <laughs> had a Lambo truck that was red with red and black seats. Now Lena back in 2020 took a picture in a Lambo truck with red and black seats and she took it June 17, 2020. Now the location of this picture says Wynwood, which is a location in Miami. Now May 25th, 2020, King tweet, going to Miami, F it, any Miami girls. Oh, I should have watched her video first. <laughs> Don't always say that. <clears throat> so he put out a tweet <clears throat> saying he was going to Miami May 25th. And she was in Miami, what, May 20th? Or am I? I was like. Now, May 25th, 2020, King tweet, going to Miami, F it. Any oh, Miami no, girls want to be in a music video? Music video in Miami in June. So King back in June of 2020, quote unquote, went to Miami to shoot a music video that no one's seen. And Lena, who was going to school and living in Baton Rouge, just so happened to be in Miami in June as well. Y'all put two and two together and he can't say that Neek and him wasn't together because he came back from the trip acting funny. That's what Neek said in her video. In the last video that Neek and King recorded back in July 2020, he was asking for an open relationship and to bring someone else <coughs> into the relationship, which allegedly he could have been talking about Lena. But let's continue reading what she's saying. Y'all so uh, voice is calling. Okay, but I know I thought I was gonna call you, but no, 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 I got you. <laughs> what happened? Keep in mind, I'm not going just based off those pictures. Keep in mind that Fredo Bing said that Neek came went out to Miami and she said that King, he said that King went first. Even Corey said it in September. He said, Oh, Niggas went to Miami to get away from each other and niggas was cheating. And he didn't say, he didn't, he didn't say precisely who it was. He was like, niggas was cheating in Miami. So I'm not just basing it off of these pictures because we can pull up Corey's live too. And we can pull up what Fredo Bang said and what he said in his message as well. So when did Fredo Bang say that? I want the, the tea. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, Matt, yo, when they was going off in September, Corey was just, you know how Corey be speaking. Corey be talking too damn much. Yes. And that's what he did. He was talking. So he was like, yeah, niggas was all in Miami. And, and supposedly he cheated. And da, 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 da. Oh, I remember that. Right. Now and I remember what, Corey. I don't know about Fredo Bang. Fredo Bang actually was trying to be messy because he was mad about the whole Neek going, you know, 
you know, not yeah. being there for him in prison. Blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, and so he basically was like, oh, yeah, like he was trying to make it seem like Nick also went on vacation because she was trying to get payback for what he did when he went to Miami on vacation. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So oh Nick, God, Nick was I trying really to, he, he was trying to say Nick was trying to get payback from King? Yes, because King went on vacation and allegedly there was some things that happened. Let me say allegedly, because this, this is not out of my mouth. This is not out of my mouth. This is not. Damn sure ain't out of my mouth. <laughs> right, this is all alleged. But there was a conversation that was had on live. Now, if Corey wasn't being truthful or maybe he mixed something up or whatever the case may be, I'm only reporting what was given at that time of that particular live when he was going live several times on that situation when it happened in September. That's when they was having issues and everybody was going on vacation. People were trying to get out the house. It was a whole bunch of back and forth things. Yeah. But I don't want Lena and King to think I got anything against them. At the end of the day, I got, like, if people want me to talk about something, I got to talk about it. I don't have nothing against King and Lena. At the end of the day, they together now. That's the reason why I won't pull up certain things and really get in depth about certain things that was said. Because I could do that, because just, you know, this is what I do. But at the end of the day, it was things that were said that led up to that situation, and I didn't put that in there. Yeah. I could have, but I did. We might have to, y'all, we might have to go back to that live. Right. I do remember Corey just talking too much. He was like, yeah, and King went to Miami. Um, and he, yeah, he kind of like dry snitched on King. He was that Nick went to Miami to see Fredo Bang as well. That too, because definitely snitched on Nick as well. Right. And he was the one that said that she went to Miami because she was trying to do, it was like almost like they were trying to pay each other back because he did something and then it came back to her that, uh, he was doing something while he was on vacation out there. So then she went out there and then uh, this is what Corey said. This is from what Corey is saying. He said that she went out there to meet up with Fredo Bing in Miami as well. So that's why I said him saying that he didn't go to Miami. Something is not adding up with this situation because you got Corey over here saying that y'all went to Miami and it was a lot of things that happened. But like I said, this is all alleged because this is based off of what Corey said. But like mm. I said, I didn't pull it up and get that information because, you know, you got to sit there for fucking five hours with Corey. <laughs> yes, yes, to just to get he to the point. One live. He went live that whole week of September. I'll never forget it. I got surgery that week. September 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, he went live for hours talking about that situation. So I would literally have to sit there through that whole footage, but I did at that time. But to do that shit again... Oh, God. They said that's how we found out about Fredo Bang from Corey. Right. Alexa, hang up. Hey, that's what I'm saying. That that's He crazy. brought up Fredo Bang <laughs> because he was like, oh, uh, King came to him because he was upset because she went on vacation on some get back shit of what he did. That's why I said this is all legend. I'm and, basing and, this off of Corey's life. And Corey was dry snitching because he was mad at King about karma. Right. So he was telling everything and he was spilling tea about King too, because he was like, Oh, you the same dude that comes to my house and you, uh, uh, and I know what you, you know what I mean? He, I'm, I'm not going to quote everything he said word for word, what but he was basically hell? saying, you know what I mean? He was basically saying that King was doing some shit too. That's he was mad about the whole Carmen shit. This is crazy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I said, I'm not just basing this off of pictures. I just didn't want to sit there for all them hours and, listen, and, and, and have to go through all of that footage. I have the footage, well, majority of it. I can sit through it and actually find those pieces, but I didn't want to sit there through that that thing. But y'all remember him going live. It was that whole situation when Corey went live, Nick went live, Carmen went live, and then King ended up going live because he issued a part... Um, uh, apology behind all of that situation because there was some things going on behind the scenes and we still didn't get all the pieces because then over time it was more pieces that came out along the way so I don't know you damn know listen <laughs> tea room <laughs> tea room's probably gonna put it out regardless I, listen it's gonna get out because it's already out 
And it seems like it's starting on TikTok. Like, they coming for for them on TikTok, it seems, more than YouTube. Right. Which I don't even understand how that's happening. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, some people got some things against them, but I want them to know that I ain't got nothing against them. You know what I mean? I, at the end of the day, you're not the only people that I talk about. We talk about everybody. <laughs> I talk about everybody. So you're not singled out. It's not like I'm coming for you or trying to attack you in any kind of way. I leave room so this you can be so able to messy, clear. Right? <laughs> so I said, yeah, this is I messy. Leave room so you can clear shit up. Right. You know what I'm saying? I leave room. I tell you the story. I tell you what happened. I tell you the evidence I got. And then you, it's your job at that point as an influencer to come and clear the whole situation up. And if I'm wrong about something, I'm going to own up to it. And based off of these pictures, if we just going off the pictures, okay, you got that. But I, when I put those pictures out, I was thinking of that live. That's why I was like, oh, okay, everything is starting to make sense now based off of what Corey said in that live. Yeah, I mean, that was... But a... I just said that in that video so people can understand better and probably pulled that up too. Yeah, because had I reacted to the video, your video first, I would have definitely said that the dates wouldn't add up. However, I did just notice that you put in the tweet that he said he was going to Miami May 25th. Which is ironic that she was there in the beginning of July, and also ironic that the Lambo she was in a red and black Lambo. I see where you got it from, but right. the pictures was just wrong. They was wrong, but yeah. I, I also see why you saying what you saying because Corey out here spilling tea, and he was spilling tea when he was mad at King. This is some messy ass shit, right? <laughs> right, and this is what I'm saying. That's why I said I was here for everything. So that's why I'm putting. I'm putting it together based off of, of how the movie played out back then. If you was around that, around that time, so, certain pieces are starting to make sense, and over time, puzzles are starting to be put together. But I'm not, I'm not doing it to to destroy anybody or or make somebody feel any type of way. I'm doing it because it's my fucking job. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. If people want me to talk about it, I got to do what the people want. The thing is, if y'all want us to talk about y'all in a good way, just know when you do bad shit, we're going to talk about that. That's just really be it, y'all. And yeah. that's the only way I can put it. That's why I decided I'm not going to have any fucking YouTuber friends. I'm okay. Because y'all ain't going to like it when I start talking about what's going on. I'm going to talk about everything. You can't only be happy with me when I talk about the good shit. When y'all fuck up, I'm talking about that too. And if I fuck up, talk about me. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh -oh. <laughs> And I will clear it up, okay? Because I know I got the receipt. <laughs> but, <I'm serious. laughs> Okay, Fred, I ain't gonna hold you up. All right, Fred. <laughs> yeah, y'all, around that time, I, I wasn't, um, I kept telling y'all I wasn't really into that story because I felt like the storyline was fake. I genuinely felt like the storyline was fake, bro. Everything was fake at that time. So I was like, I do not believe this shit. They lying. And come to find out, that shit was very serious. So I just feel like I'm kind of late to the party, but I digress. We're going to continue We're literally to reaching, are we? And trying so hard to paint me out to be this horrible person. At this point, it's such a repetitive situation to keep speaking about. We're engaged, beautiful family, happy and making money. Leave us alone. We don't care for this ish. Y'all swear we want or need this negative attention. Now, Ashley did speak out, and I don't blame her because she's realizing slowly but surely she was used in this situation. She posts, I'm not going to hush into the main person who always hides her hand when she throws rocks shut me up simple mm. years later i still want my ones someone set up a boxing match i ain't gonna lie ashley gotta sit this one out she got to sit this one out i will say that a nigga would absolutely gaslight you but a nigga nine times out of ten will let you know that you ain't his girl and i don't think that he told her you're my girl i really don't because i think that that will reflect like, he was with Neek for a very long time. Now he's with Lena, and it's going on for a very long time. I mean, to the point where he's proposing and they about to get married type shit. Shawty, he wasn't fucking with you like that. And he probably was using you. I'd rather King say like Amar did. Amar was like, Shawty, you used. You, Shawty, I used you. You through. You know what I'm saying? Get over it. <laughs> and some women get used. Some niggas get used. Everybody get used, especially if you let them. You can only get used if you let a nigga use you. And you let him use you. We gonna, let's just, mm. I, I, I think she was in love with King. And, and that's okay, but it's just giving he, 
He used her. Between me and Lizzie. And what are they? Oh, yeah, please. My therapist said I'm not going to heal until I put my hands on the problem. People just want me to forget how a girl did me. You took one of the most vulnerable moments of me and posted to the internet. If you really think I'm going to let that ish go, you're crazy. Wait. I actually got pregnant at the wait, time wait, she was wait. messing around. What the lane of hosts at the time? with King. She sent him the pregnancy test and she told him congratulations thinking it was a good moment. He didn't feel the same way she did and sadly a couple of weeks later she ended up having a miscarriage. So Lena two years later during an argument with Ashley actually pulled out this receipt and these pictures that she sent King when they were together. Ashley and King was together and she actually was talking about her being quote unquote pregnant and how she possibly could have lied. I don't know it just turned into a big thing at that time. I'm gonna try to link the video down below so y'all can see it. I'm not the bigger person at least not in this matter. Y'all leave comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that actually this is one of my biggest pet peeves i really hate when people say i love you but da 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 da, da. Yeah, i love agree. you but then proceed to like, like insult me because number one i have a stylist sweetheart and for number two i'm just trying on this stuff for the heck of it it's not even that deep i'm just trying on this stuff because i want to try it on best believe i know how to go get a stylist or use a stylist First of all, let's talk about this. Queen looked the fuck good. What are we talking about? I don't even know why she acknowledging this shit. Well, I, I, clearly I know why. It was going to get to somebody's blog or somebody something. Um, oh, Lena leaked her miscarriage. Okay. Um, Queen looked good. Queen looks very good. I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't even know why. Yeah, just... I really have something <laughs> Fuck that I'm attending. I am headed to go get my hair cut. I'm about to get a bob. So all of this is going to be gone. I'm actually cutting my hair um, like short this time. Like maybe right here so that all of it can grow out at the same pace. Um, and also, I just want something different. Um, I know that my hair will grow back, especially if I'm like getting the proper treatments and stuff. But I just want it all to grow out even because I'm tired of like it being short here and longer there. Um, but I had a crazy night. I had a hectic night last night. I didn't get no sleep, but I am pushing through. So um, I will take y'all on this little haircut journey with me today. So stay tuned. Y'all, I love my hair so much. That I shit think look it good. is so cute. It looks very good. And I don't some even people understand. was like, no, it's too short. I don't give a fuck is what you should have so. said. It's very cute. <laughs> I think it's different. I think it's like I think you look grown. Like y'all gotta understand what, what and granted, she's still what, 25, <laughs> 26. But you know, we started with Queen, like. 17, 18. Girl, she is not a baby anymore. She's a mother, okay? And at some point, things will change. Fuck out of here. That looks great. I love it. I love it on her. Um, Y'all act like she got a baldy or something. Come on. I'm giving what I wanted to give. Very, very sleek and still youthful, like in modern. Yes. Sometimes, like, when people get bobs, like, it looks, you know, it makes them look, like, super old. Yes. But that's not what this is giving. He definitely did his thing. For sure. Somebody said, I look like Lord Faquad or Faquad. I don't know how you pronounce it. And then someone else said, I look like um, Edna. But see, when I was on TikTok before I got this bob and I was looking at all the girlies like with bobs, it was this one girl and she was like, if you bob and you have dark hair, be prepared for people to call you these like names. And she gave a list, list of names and th those names were on it. So I kind of was already like expected that. But who cares? <laughs> I'll be a sexy Lord Faquad. That's it. I'll be a sexy Edna, period. <laughs> the end, nigga, what else we doing? All right. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, like I said, I I want them to be as happy as they would like to be uh, as far as King and Lena go. 
But when King and Nate was together, people was talking about him. Just like him and Lena together, people going to talk about him. I will say, I don't think anybody is trying to... And, and coming from a, a blogger standpoint, you know what? I, let me not say that because everybody don't have good intentions. But what I will say is the people that report on the, the, the these topics... Nobody's trying to damage anybody. I'm going to just let that be known. People are just talking about it. They're going to talk about it on TikTok. You get it to YouTube. Y'all fans send the shit to us. I keep telling everybody that. I'm talking about, I <sighs> wake up, <clears throat> look at my phone. I got a whole lineup for the day of everybody sending me stuff. I was not watching nothing. <laughs> like Sleep outside. Doing shit y'all be doing, just not vlogging it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, people send us content all day long. So it's, I can't speak for people who who try and cause detriment to anybody's lives. I can't speak for them. But anybody I talk to that I be friend that is uh, speaking about tea for the most part, uh, especially IE voice, it, 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 it wasn't no ill intentions. She just kind of know more information. And I think she, I wish she would have just put it all out there. Um, so the point would have got across. And once again, she said she was wrong with the pictures. That's one thing we will do is say we was wrong. She was wrong about the pictures and the dates. Um, but yeah, man, nobody definitely not this way trying to destroy any of y'all when y'all want us to report y'all shit when it's positive just know when it's negative we're gonna talk about it that's it that's that's really it i think king is a great guy um i don't take nothing away from him relationship wise i tell y'all all the time people cheat man like if neek was out there fucking on fredo bang what's wrong with king fucking on lena that's what i want to know if if Neek was outside with Fredo Bang, what was wrong with King getting some ass from Lena? And maybe nobody was getting no ass from nobody. I don't know, okay? But I'm just saying. <sighs> I'm done. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.